And welcome back to Taylor's Detroit Sports Show. This is the Pistons edition. I am Taylor Phillips, your host, of course. Um, same guidelines. So, and um, I'm on, again, I'm, I'm on Facebook, uh, YouTube, Google, Pinterest, and stumble upon as Taylor Phillips and you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram at DT2Phillips with two L's. There's also a chat window available for you to comment your opinions. You uh, may not have any opinion at this point about the Pistons, but uh, if you if you do, this is this is open for uh, 30 minutes for you to voice voice it in. Just call in at 646-478-4837. Again, that's six four six four seven eight four eight three seven. That's always the number the the number to call on my show. So the Pistons uh, actually won their first game of the week at the Palace against the Knicks. 96-85 was the final. But then they lost to the Bulls in the same building on Wednesday. Monday was the Knicks game. They lost to the Bulls 105-94. to And then last night they lost to the Timberwolves in, at the Target Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota, 114 to 101. Um, Andre Drummond came up with 26 rebounds and 17 points uh, against the against the Knicks. He didn't come up, he, he did not come up with much in the in the Bulls game. Seven rebounds, 15 points. And then Andre Drummond came up with two blocks on Friday. Seven rebounds, six points. That, that's a lot lower. Uh, Pistons now stand at 24 and 38. Still in third place in the Central. And they're still in the hunt. Somehow. It's kind of weird. They are a game back of the Atlanta Hawks for eighth place in the Eastern Conference. The Hawks are 26 and 34. The, the Pacers have have already clinched a play 
their playoff berth. They're, they're the only team to, to have clinched a playoff berth thus far this season down the stretch. They stand at 46 and 16, leading the entire pack. Pistons head to Boston tomorrow, 6 o'clock, looking at the week ahead. Fox Sports Detroit. Then on Tuesday, they return to the Palace, play the Sacramento Kings. Tuesday at 7.30. On Wednesday, they head to Toronto and play the Raptors at 7. Then on Saturday, they play the Indiana Pacers at the Palace, trying to trying to play upset here. They can still try to clinch the playoffs. That's still their focus. That's the objective. Some, although some, although most of them. Some or most Pistons fans want just the lottery pick, any lottery pick at all. I, I still think the Pistons have a shot unless they continue to turn the ball over numerous times and play pathetic defense. And, and there is nobody in the front office or on the bench that can, that can fire up their defense right now. Someone's got someone's to make it give. Some, someone's got to make something give here. Celtics are 21 and 41. Ugh. Fourth place in the Atlantic Division. They're, they're already looking forward to next season, obviously, because I know the Celtics are really good. Still, in my in my view, I think the Pistons can take the Celtics tomorrow night. It might be another close one, like it was the last time at TD Bankworth Garden. The TD Garden. Uh, the Kings, Sacramento, 22-40. and 40. I think the Pistons can take them. The, the, the Toronto Raptors. Not as easy though. Thirty-four and twenty-six. They lead the Atlantic Division and are third in the East. Pistons are going to have to step it up a few few more notches when they enter that building, the Air Canada Center, the Air Canada Center. Oh, Canada! Fooey. Still hate Canada after they won the gold medal in hockey. But this is basketball anyway, so... And, of course, the Pacers, like I said, leading the entire pack. It's at the Palace, though. Pistons will have to show more heart and determination and use, uh, use more brains especially on defense and maybe on offense as well. Keep limiting keep limiting those turnovers. Sixteen against New York. How many how many against the Bulls here? 
to seven against the Bulls. Ten against the Timberwolves. Wait, wait, that's uh, twelve against the Timberwolves. Timberwolves only had ten. It's going to be a short shell. The Pistons edition is. I'm going to try to f fill some time up here. Um, moving on to an, an article that I ran into earlier this week. It is now official that their general manager, Joe Dumars, is expected to be fired at some point. Most most of us, uh, most of you said he will be fired at after the season is over. And uh, I think I'm starting, I'm already s agreeing with all, with all of you who say that. But uh, some of us also think that their owner, Tom Gores, should sell them. Or at least we hope it, he does. That's about it. That's about it, it for the Pistons. Uh, college basketball scores. Michigan held on to beat Indiana 84-80 at Chrysler Center. Toledo prevailed over Eastern Michigan 77-66. And tomorrow, MS, uh, the Spartans take on the Buckeyes in Columbus tomorrow at 4 on CBS. Speaking of tomorrow, I give you a humongous reminder to up your clocks by an hour because daylight savings time begins in two hours. When it hits the 2, two o'clock a.m. hour, it'll change to 3 a.m. Exactly immediately. So, uh, other did... The only other Detroit sports update out of basketball, the Tigers uh, lose 3-2 to two again to the Mets in Lakeland. Like, uh, same score they lost to the Yankees at George Steinbrenner Field, except in the ninth inning uh, last night. Tigers play the Marlins tomorrow at 105. Drew Smiley uh, gave up three more hits and three more runs. Wait, he, he threw three scoreless innings. Let me take a look at that. Okay, I'll take a look at the box score. <laughs> Smiley, uh, Smiley didn't even give up a run. Just three hits, three scoreless innings. Uh, Phil Coke gave up one of the runs, but then in the ninth inning, uh, Justin Miller, a relief pitcher, gave up the crucial one run to the Mets took the loss uh, the two uh, the two crucial runs in the ninth inning blew a save he's definitely no Joe Nathan he, he won't make the team it's spring training one Gonzalez German K 
came up with the save for the Mets. And it was Jeff Walters who came up with the win, a relief pitcher. A couple prospects there. Tigers and Marlins game. It is in Lakeland. And then on Monday, they take on the Pirates on the road. Then they uh, play the Braves in Lakeland on Tuesday. Then they go to Clearwater to take on the Phillies. And they play the Braves in Lakeland again on Thursday. And play the Rays in Lakeland on Friday. And then wrap up their spring training national season, spring training preseason against the Nationals at 205 at Nationals Park in D.C. And that'll wrap up. And. Uh, then on Monday the 31st, they open their regular season against the Royals at 108 at Comerica Park. Justin Verlander, as we hear, is ready to go, ready to start opening day for the Tigers. A rally towel for the first uh, 20,000 fans. First, uh, it's the only promotion for opening day presented by Paul, presented by Ballpark, Franks, and Meyer. Same question for the Pistons edition this week. Uh, do you want the? Do you still want the Pistons to keep pushing for the playoffs, or do you want the Pistons to? give out and uh, go for a lottery pick. Your call at 646-478-4837. That's 646-478-4837. I'll wait for, uh, for any caller that can step up to the plate and voice, your, voice their opinion. There's also a chat window on this show for you to comment your opinion by type, by movable type on, on the keyboard on, on the World Wide Web at blogtalkradio.com on Taylor's Detroit Sports Show, Pistons Edition 3914. 2014 at midnight next week Sunday at midnight I'll do a I'll do the I'll do I will host a Tigers season preview I will mention in there that, that there's always the trade deadline in the midseason. And then and then the following from the following Sunday at midnight on out, I will do I, I will host the Tigers the weekly Tigers edition. That is after that is after every three or four game set concludes by the weekend by the end of the weekend so um, that's gonna wrap it up that's gonna wrap up our broad my broadcast uh, up of this week's Pistons edition of Taylor's Detroit Sports Show 
Another reminder to set your clocks an hour ahead for daylight savings time tomorrow. Um, Red Wings edition Saturday at 11, Pistons edition sun, uh, Saturday at midnight, and the first, and then the Tigers season preview Sunday at midnight. So until then, this is Taylor Phillips saying TTFN Tata for now.